Maybe you can see that we are this time not on our sailing boat and it's a special moment for us because exactly one year ago Frankie put the first time a foot on a sailing yacht and um, now we, we, we sail with a friend of us or we help him to sail his boat back from the Canary Islands to the Met and uh, it's quite a challenging passage because it's most of the time it, it should be upwind and against the waves and against the wind and it's about four to six or seven days it depends on the conditions for entering the map it's also not so super easy yeah i think some of you might know that there is a topic which is called orcas and it is kind of on every sailor's agenda that this is something that worries everybody because there have been several orca attacks in that area um, that even made boats sink and we are going right through it so of course it also gave us some thoughts how are we going to handle this topic and how will it be so we are really curious crossing the fingers that everything will go well because we definitely don't want to be attacked by an orca and yeah it's but it will be something special because we are also passing the street of Gibraltar. And the, um, the street on its own is also a, a nice, a very nice experience. Yeah, because you can see on the one side Europe and on the other side it's Africa. And only a few miles apart from each other. So I think that will be very interesting. Also how the wind and the current conditions are there. So we are looking forward to it. And let's see what this passage will bring us. Yeah, definitely. So join us and wish us best luck that everything will go well. Yeah. Hi from Hi. We are Pat and Frankie, a couple who ditched the 9 to 5, sold everything and set sail with zero experience. Our mission? Explore the world, discover our idea home port and establish our lifestyle brand Hi. Ready for the adventure? Jump aboard and be part of our journey. We've just had lunch and had a little chat about our upcoming sale. And we checked the Orca apps. There are two Orca apps, which we still remember from our time sailing the coast of Portugal. So we were chatting about the potential route or checking the weather and yeah the orca thing is still a big topic. Yeah it's a bit less than last time but the one app shows 13 yeah, incidents. incidents and the other one it's a bit more you can see it here. And so the red dots are interactions, interactions yeah. that means real cases. So here you can see also the green ones in the Biscaya, but in the street of Gibraltar there are a lot more red ones. Mm. And yeah, I think it's less than last year, but it's Still. also earlier than last year. And um, what you can recognize that there are more interactions than last year. Last year was, was more sight sights. Things. Yeah. And I must say I am not nervous, but I am. Yeah, it's just cute. I don't know what is the right word. Yeah, we will discuss how we will manage it. Yeah. We have packed and are getting ready to leave tomorrow morning to Lanzarote. We are meeting up with Frank, a friend we have met on Madeira and this time packing for our offshore sailing adventure was different because I realized that we have gained some more experience definitely and I am just really looking forward to it. But also the packing has shown me that, um, yeah, we have grown into sailors, I would say. I remember clearly when we bought our boat um, a year ago on the Azores, we hadn't had any offshore sailing experience. I didn't have any sailing experience at all in general. 
but I remember asking Pat if he thinks that we need our life vests. Babe, do you think we will use the life vests to clip ourselves on the boat? Yes, for sure. <laughs> 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 if we are going to wear them, that's how naive I was. Um, well, of course you need life vests when you do a big ocean passage offshore. But yeah, so this time um, it is just really nice to see how we have grown into this new lifestyle and that we can even say that uh, we can help a friend deliver his boat. Um, I think that's that sounds very salty. This is our wonderful Frank. <laughs> After shower. Yeah. <laughs> Some last preparations. Storing away all the food. Frank is working on a piece for the boat at the moment. And making the beds, getting everything ready and then tonight our fourth crew member will arrive. So we are trying to get some work done today and then we'll have a briefing tomorrow and enjoy the evening. And a note about the crew members, what I think is really nice and interesting and different is meeting people that you have never met in your life before. So yeah, I'm excited in meeting, uh, or we are excited in meeting Gerard tonight, who is the fourth crew member from this trip. And it is just a really nice experience being together with um, new people who you directly connect with. So in this case, we don't know Frank for such a long time, but we had a really good connection with him right away and it's something wonderful that comes with this lifestyle. Because I've been sharing this with you now, let us know how you would feel with this. Would it be a problem for you to be on small space with people you don't know? Um, yeah, would you be open to this experience? Do you think it is crazy? Do you think it's nice? It's funny? It's I don't know what. Let us know what you think. Now we will be back in the water. While we are waiting to go back in the water, Frankie is doing a nap. And of her deep inside, she's smiling at the moment. <laughs> you woke me up! Somehow the weather is making me super tired. So I went here for a nap, but I'm sitting, I have my shoes on because I'm ready whenever we are t being taken into the water. And it sounds like they're... Whoa, okay, we're moving. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, I should get going. What are you doing then? <laughs> It's time for sailing! <laughs> and the weather looks like a bit stronger for today, so maybe we have strong winds on the nose today. But during the night it will calm down and I hope we will still be able to sail. Otherwise we have to motor a bit and then the wind is coming back. So maybe we have a nice entrance in the street of Gibraltar. Bye bye Rubicon! Bye bye Rubicon! Let's go sailing! Comment ça? Ça va être vachement irrégulier à tout le long. Hein. 
So we started and we have around 20 knots of wind and we are doing 6 knots and we are sailing in the right direction so <laughs> it's perfect. It's a little bit bumpy. We're sailing upwind. The wind has steadied a little bit, but the boat is rocking. And it is nearly seven o'clock. But the sun is still shining. And soon we will have dinner. Okay, what's going on? What's happening? Tell me, how was the night? The first night shift is over. Frankie is going crazy. Frankie is completely crazy. She sings um, Smurf, Smurf songs, songs <laughs> and is dancing. And yeah, at the moment we are motoring, but it was, yeah, it was quite windy. And wavy, night. hallelujah. And wavy. We had a few waves entering the cockpit and splashing us. <laughs> now everything is salty. My pants, for example. And, and it, sorry. And it there. feels quite confident, uh, even if it's another boat. But um, yeah, some things are different and some things are similar. So that's very interesting for us. And yeah, we had between, I would say, 12 and 23 knots. Oh, yeah. And uh, the night was also very dark, so cloudy, no moon. Super dark. <laughs> we didn't see anything, nothing, zero. And we had to do hand steering because yeah. it was too difficult for the autopilot, so we hand steered. Yeah, the rest is fine. I didn't sleep the first shift resting. No. I have why she's sleep. going crazy now. I need minimum six hours, otherwise I'm totally crazy. So that's the reason why she's now like that. Around 150 miles yeah. yet. And how many to go? To go we have 450. 450. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice that the sun is here. Yeah, maybe we have tonight a nice sunset. Maybe. If you don't know it yet, uh, Frankie loves food and look how she's smiling when she's preparing the food because she knows that it's in five minutes in her stomach. Love it. <laughs> this is special. And this is avocado with cheese. a cheese sandwich Toast. and chili san carne. So, wow. Let's go to have a snack. <laughs> you already ate yours. Yeah, it was good. How good? Magnifique. Magnifique. Excellent. 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 <laughs> the best Très breakfast. Excellent. With a wonderful sun. <sighs> Inhale. Exhale, la la lele. La. <laughs> 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 
Sunny day. Yeah, definitely. I hope the weather will the first time be nice on this trip. <laughs> It but looks like this. It looks like that, yeah. And what is the plan for today? First sleeping, eating, sleeping, repeating, eating and in the sea, sailing. <laughs> that sounds like a good plan. Yeah, not bad. The wind is coming back and I think we will hoist the sails soon. No, no, but just... Yeah, yeah, it's enough. It's enough. Done. What? Okay. okay. So we try to do that this way, I think, here, right? Time for a shower. <laughs> nice. One more. <laughs> Is it nice or is it nice? Nice, but cold. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't scream. Oh. Yeah, I had the advantage that there was a bit more sun. Yeah, maybe. What's that? But it's nice, now I'm fresh. How fast are we going? In between five and six knots. That's nice. Yeah, With this beautiful setting. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, and we are not healing. It's very pleasant. Yeah, that's true. It's nice. And while Frank is doing a new lorry on the fishing line, maybe we are luckier because Big A didn't bring us any fish. <laughs> so now we have another one. And the wind is picking up a little bit. Mm -hmm. It's not only sunshine. But also rain. So we had to take down the pole. Got a new sail set up. And we're in a little rain tower. Not the worst, but it's also not the not nicest thing. What is our course doing? Uh, 37. That's like 35, so it's almost perfect. 
But I think now it's shifting again and again and we have to adapt it. After the rain cloud. But we will see. Looks like it's ha it has passed us. Now it's on this side. This is the bathroom with the most nicest view on the planet. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> and some fresh ingredients. Let's have it. <laughs> it's time for my nap because in three hours we will have our first shift and we need to be fit because tomorrow we will enter the bay before the street of Gibraltar and we have to have a sharp lookout for the orcas. So good night. Morning from the ocean. It's our fifth sunrise and fifth day. Now the aim is to be on daytime and uh, before the street of Gibraltar that we can pass it with light so we can see maybe the orcas and hopefully we see them not. <laughs> yeah. So it will be an exciting night and day tomorrow. We knocked on wood. Uh, How long do we still have? How many miles? We have 68. <laughs> Two caddies. Two caddies, yeah, and then we go along the coast. So in the 20 meter zone. That should be the safest option. And that's what we try to do. Excited because of the street of Gibraltar. I think it's very nice to go through it. But for me it's a big experience. And I'm a bit... How do you say? Nervous? Yeah, nervous about the orcas. That's these two points. And I'm very interested in showing you the mat, <laughs> how it is there. <laughs> sailing in the mat. Yeah, it's your first time sailing in the mat or with a boat in the mat, right? Yeah, yeah. that's true. So it will be interesting. So, we are currently here about 70 miles from mainland Spain. And we have set a waypoint and which we defined as the zone where we will be very careful and we will all be awake and until then we still have about 30-40 miles to go tonight 
night we all have a strange feeling um, as the sun is setting we all know that we are entering the danger zone and I think we are all trying to stay positive but because we are speaking about taking precautions and we will all be awake together we have spoken about who will take which role um, so yeah I think we are all just very tensioned and even though it is a beautiful sunset there might be some rain but apart from that it is actually a nice evening but yeah also a strange strange feeling Frankie is steering at the moment and we are super happy that we can see land again after five, uh, five nights on the ocean and um, we are much more happy about that than in the other cases because we got hit by the orcas twice um, two or three hours ago and now we try to get with the rest of the rudder to, to the marina to check everything. Luckily at the moment there is no water coming in the boat so I think we will manage it and we are shortly before the 20 meter depth range so we hope that we are safe soon and that we will reach the marina. Maybe we need some help there because it's not so easy to maneuver the boat at the moment. But yeah, we will see. We are happy that we can see land. No, not yet. I will check. It's smelling like land. And had just said now we have kind of made it because we are so close to shore that we could probably swim. We are entering the channel um, close to Cadiz. We have contacted a marina. They are waiting for us. Now the only thing is 
how the boat will react when we try to maneuver. How do you feel after Two hours that we of have sleep. been hit by orcas at 4 in the morning, now it's 10? Now I'm feeling a bit, um, how do you say? When you finish? And, yeah, that definitely I'm a bit tired and stuff like that, but I feel, I would say I feel relieved because we were lucky, we were attacked two times. But um, we made it to, to go to the marina, so, or not yet, but I think and I hope we will made it, uh, make it. Yeah, the docking would be interesting with our boat thruster, with a broken rudder, and yeah, but we, I think we can also manage this challenge, and then I feel very relieved, and I want to Get drink, <laughs> drink, eat, and sleep in one time. <laughs> That's also interesting, That's how we can manage that. <laughs> okay. I think for the last, I don't know, eight hours, I had so much adrenaline and couldn't slow down. And even until now because there were so many fishing buoys and like nets and everything along the coastline it was still a hassle and the rudder wasn't really behaving normally with the waves and it was quite a long way to reach the 20 meter zone yeah so it was wow it was such a long time it was dark it was i, I still can't believe it actually yeah, me neither. It I was like a movie. When we get get off this boat and touch land, we'll be like, what happened? What the happened? Mm. We arrived just in time for lunch. <laughs> for the gin tonic and for the gin tonic. And I will try a little bit of a back. Reverse. Back. Not really, huh? Not really. The last meters. Woohoo! We are so close now. Frank, are you happy? Yes and no. <laughs> yes, because of the gin tonic, no, because of the hot cars. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Hira? Almost the same. <laughs> Happy to have done all this, uh, and happy to finish. Wow, mm. there will be a next. Yeah, definitely. And this is a good ending for a sad story.